So how fast is the OCZ Revo drive? Honestly, there's a lot of different benchmarks you can run to test an SSD, but I'm going to talk more in terms of in general theory, and I'm just going to show you a quick crystal disk mark as well as one benchmark that may not be interesting to you, but I personally find it interesting. So first of all, we've got our little crystal disk mark run. So you can see that the specs are uh, pretty much ridiculous. You're looking at reads of over 600 megabytes per second, and this is for what is in, for all intents and purposes, four SSDs strapped together. So come have a look at the card itself. So you've got 16 chips per Sandforce controller here, and then you've got a um, PCI Express to PCI Bridge. You've got a PCI RAID controller here, so we're running all four drives in RAID 0. Remember, you can configure them in whatever RAID config that you want. That's totally up to you. And uh, so, yeah, I've left them in RAID 0. It comes pre-done in RAID 0, though. So here, I'm going to actually shut down the computer really quick. So we're installing update one of two. Actually, Windows updates install really fast. That's one of the things I really like about the Revo drive, because I had to set up a new Windows setup in order to uh, show you guys a fresh install. Actually, here, yeah, stay focused on this, though, because I'm going to show you guys the boot up time. There, I press the button now. And uh, yeah, so it, I really appreciate when things just sort of install really quickly. And so it's been really nice about the Revo drive. Now, I want to talk while we're waiting for the system to boot up about some of the theoretical limitations of something like a Revo drive. So first of all, Revo drive does not support trim. I get a lot of questions about this, and trim is not supported in RAID, period. That means whether we're talking RAID on a PCIe card, whether we're talking about RAID on multiple SATA drives that are plugged into a motherboard or a third-party RAID card, whatever it is, no trim, period. So what that means is that the Revo drive relies on its idle garbage collection in order to make sure that the SSD stays performing in an optimal state. And look at that. As soon as I boot it in, I had it launching Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. It didn't even hesitate. So that is, uh, in addition to going back and checking out my original hard drive versus SSD episode on NCIX Tech Tips, which you should go check out, that is just the demonstration that I want to show you guys for how snappy an SSD makes everything you do. In fact, why don't we show you guys a couple other ones? Windows Media Center takes forever to launch. I think we can all agree about that. Boom, done. Windows Media Center can take like multiple steamboats to launch on a hard drive. It can even take a steamboat or a steamboat and a half to launch on an SSD. But on something like the Revo drive, it's just ridiculous. So here, you know what? Stay, stay tuned with me here. I'm going to go ahead and start adding a bunch of random stuff to the startup folder. So let's put Windows Media Player in there. Let's put uh, Internet Explorer in there. Let's just add like a whole bunch of like random stupid stuff to it. So uh, how about the, uh, uh, let's see, I don't have a whole lot installed on here right now. I apologize for that, guys. I wish I had sort of more. So why don't we just sort of grab some more random dumb stuff and throw it in uh, in the startup folder. Here, let me do this off camera then and I'll come back when I'm ready. So for the sake of being able to reproduce this from home, we've stuck with mostly applications that almost anyone should have installed on their computer. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And we are, are we done already? Was that it? I was expecting to have like some kind of a time period that you can actually measure, but there's nothing. It's just done by the time we hit the desk. We don't even see the desktop. It's just done. So we launched the calculator, Excel, Internet Explorer, Paint, PowerPoint, Sound Recorder, Windows Media Center, Windows Media Player, as well as Microsoft Word. We launched it all and it's done, just like that. So that's how fast the Revo drive is. Would I recommend that you get one? Uh, definitely. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Also, it has these cool LEDs. Check it out. So if I do anything on the uh, on the hard drive, it actually like it kind of reminds me of an airplane because it has like lights on each wing. So you can actually see the uh, the activity LEDs for these two SSDs here, and then you can see the activity LEDs for the two SSDs that are built into the bottom PCB over here. So anytime you do anything, whether yeah, so here I'm kind of like accessing things. You can see they all kind of flash, and it looks really cool in the dark when your system's. Uh, well, in the dark. So thanks for checking out Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips and don't forget to uh, check out the OCZ Revo Drive X2 in all of its wicked performance glory.
Well, Crazy Russian thinks it looks more like a spaceship than an airplane, but you know what they say about people who are crazy? They, they think they see spaceships, so. Hey man, I like spaceships and lasers.